What's up, YouTube? What's up? What's up, press lovers? What's up, handbag lovers? What's up, accessory lovers? What's up, pocketbook lovers? What's up, lovers of Dooney and Burke? What's going on? This is your girl, Ange. If you're the first time in my channel, nice to meet you. But if you've been here before, what's going on? All right. I'm coming to you because I found one of my dream bags. I mean, you can never have the dream bag because my closet is full of impulse bags and also dream bags. <laughs> right. But anyway, I'm going to show you this baby. This bag right here, y'all. I have been eyeing this thing since I fell in love with Dunia Burke. This is called the Sutton, the Hampshire Sutton. Um, Dooney and Burke, it's in the luxury code. You know how you say the luxury code cotton. That's what this is, the luxury code cotton. Okay, so I've been eyeing this bag, but this bag first when it came out retailed like three ninety, and I was like, ooh, uh, I don't know about that. So I had to actually um say, well, let me just live with this one. This is the O ring shopper. I had to go ahead and just do it this one because, hey, I'm not going to be able to get that at that point. I love this bag. I use it um, for travel. I use, I love this so much that I got the, the sister of it, like the white and cream. And I love this bag. I need to wear it more often. So I actually was able to find, and this bag sits pretty. Like it sits, when it's sitting, it sits on its own. And it is simply gorgeous. So I'm going to do a quick review. So when I was looking at on the bag, every time I'm on eBay looking for this bag, it's either um, oh, two, maybe hundreds and 200. One I recently sold, like 188, and there was going to be 200 after now. But I was able to snag this for $87 with shipping. Let me tell you, the, um, it was the way the pictures look, it looked like the bag was in good condition on the outside, but it looked like it was a hell of a mess on the inside. It was like, ooh. But when I got this baby, I, of course, I cleaned the outside, and then I looked inside. It wasn't that bad. It was just like a lot of pin marks. So I have invested money into my bags. So I have invested money into what's in my bag. I'm going to show you. So I took me some detergent, some um, washing liquid detergent detergent i took me some detergent and i cleaned the mess out the inside i cleaned the mess out this bag and guess what it smells good and this bag is so like brand new so here you go so what i loved about this bag i like the handle and i love the fact that i could travel with this bag just like my other one it's they're different like one day i'm going to do a comparison but not today but they're so different here's what the difference is and i'm going to bring it down all right, so for this bag, it has, you hear the snaps? There's snap, there's a magnetic snap, right? And there's snaps, there are also snaps on the side. So it gives you more room if you want. It's a tote, so it gives you more room. So on the inside, I have all my junk because I'm going to carry um, my stuff today. But what I start investing in is a lot of pouches so that way my bags and my pen my pins are won't be in my bag so there's a lot of junk you know if you know i have a whole bunch of stuff i changed my wallet to match my bag and i love this coin when i'm doing what's in my bag but i've also started using this so the bag is really a big old bag so if you're traveling i'm going to go to conference soon so this is the bag I'm gonna carry. You could load a lot in this bag. You could definitely put a lot of stuff in it. I have a lot of pocketbooks in this bag. Um, this is I, I'm gonna say it's. I was diff. See how different that. When I carry this one, I load. I put my sneakers in here. When I was um. At a conference, and I needed to switch out my heels. I put my sneakers in here. I put a whole, it's loaded now, like there's a lot of junk in here. But I put, I loaded stuff in, and it wasn't heavy at all. What a different look. So, this one actually 
could open. I, I'm. It can also put some tennis shoes in here, and uh, you could load a lot of stuff in here too. Um, it's a very attractive bag. What I also love about this bag, and I'm going to move forward, is the trimming is in green. I don't know if you can see it. The trimming is in green. Yeah, this bag, yo, I was shocked when I saw the outside. And I'm going to, I'm going to zip. So when I saw the outside, I was like, oh, okay, it's not that bad. This is good. And then the inside, with the pen marks, all I had to do was clean it really good. And um, <laughs> for $87, okay, I'm good. I'm good. So let me show you how it looks on the show. On the shoulder, it looks like this. You know, it, it falls. Let me show you the other one just because it's here. I kind of, I think, hold on now. I think I, the, the shoulder drop for this one is a little longer. Oh, I failed to mention that this is an adjustable strap, so you can adjust it. Well, this one you can't. That this falls here, and this one just slouches down. Okay, so the adjustable is on both sides, you can adjust it here, and you can adjust it here. It, it really it sits pretty on, but if I would lay it down, not lay it down, but sit it down, it sits pretty like it sits up and it slouches kind of. I think what draws me to this, because I'm a hobo girl, I love hobo bags, and this reminds me of one. It reminds me of a hobo bag. I love this bag. And I love that it's lightweight and um, it's very attractive. If you're into Dooney and Berg DBs all over your bag with the 1975 um, logo, this is definitely a good bag. I've seen them. I'm seeing them now. But I think I looked out. I think I really got a good deal for this bag that I've been dreaming about. So um, just wanted to come out and show you this bag. I haven't seen any videos done with real people, just QVC. So I said, hey, why not? Let me come in here and show these people what I got. So that's my bag, y'all. So, okay. So you know what you got to do today. Um, just go out there and make it fabulous, you know, put your mark on this world, um, and make things happen. I was not watching the Oscars last night, but I did a, I, I was on social media and noticed that people were like talking about who won the best movie category, but then they had to take it back and give it to the right, um, person who owned it, who, who won it. And that's to show you that we're human. We are so human. Things happen in life. So just brush it off. And sometimes all mistakes, people don't see it. But that right there, everybody saw that mistake. So on the bright side, things happen. Nothing lasts forever. You're alive. Make the best of it. Go out there and hug somebody. Hug yourself while you